Good morning from us and the power lines. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but it's like you can hear it like sizzling. It's like my least favorite sound. This gives me like a like a chill. Um, we've been on trail for about 15 minutes this morning and said goodbye to our hosts, Natalie and John. I uh, cannot emphasize enough how just incredible you guys are. And thank you so much. Um, you're so nice. They're, these are the nicest humans on the planet. Uh, gonna take that with me for a long time, just their kindness and makes me wanna pay it forward one day like they do for hikers. It's just awesome. But we're back at it with full packs today. And it's gonna be another hot one. So, it's just gonna be a rough, long day. I feel like we got a ton of water. Well, Chuck has a ton of water. He doesn't let me carry the water. I just carry my drinker. He refuses to let me carry any of the extra water. So, he's got a ton on him right now because I think our first carry is like a 10 mile water carry. So we cambled up from the start. I got some Gatorade in mine. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate is gonna be the name of the game today. Oh, sorry, we got big rocks right here. Big rocks and short legs. Nice little view first thing though. Ah, Bumblebee got on me. He landed on me. I'm trying to do a video of Chuck and a Bumblebee just Landed on my leg. <laughs> Pretty. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Just oh, I thought you were going like all the way through. I was like, is this is it's choose your own adventure day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you were going like all the way cutting through. Uh, operation eat all the heavy things first uh, the pouch these are quite heavy I only had one though mm. uh oh you doing it this is a first for me folks never done this before he's bug netting They are really bad. Adapt and overcome. Huh? Adapt and overcome. They're pretty annoying when you stop and take a break. Holy crap. Ugh. But I wanted a snack, so we stopped. We only have like 10 miles left. I don't know what we're going to do. We might push past. We shall see. But we're going to have to take a break in the hottest part of the day, so that might be the limiting factor. We might end up just still just doing those 10 miles. Who knows? I don't know. We're wanging it today. We're wanging it. Things are, things are wang, wong. Get, oh my God. Oh, these flies, I swear to you, like the size of a freaking 50 cent piece. Ugh, why are you so big? They're evolving. It's like a bird. Ugh, and they just want to land on you. I'm just... Ugh. Um... I don't like it. It's not that good. Yeah, 23 carbs in here. It looks like some amino acids. Yeah. It's okay. I wouldn't get it again. Mm -mm. He's cracking me up over here. <laughs> this bug nut. He's like taking a bite underneath. You can't take a bite through it. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I 
dog is shaking me. Man, come on, man. All right, I've also accepted defeat in this war that is being waged by gnats and no -seams. I'm tired of picking you out of my eyeballs. So, put my net on. Let's see how long it lasts before this gets in the way. And I'm, I've had, I've never had to hike in a bug net, so I consider myself pretty privileged in that sense, especially given the fact that I grew up in South Louisiana, but honestly, I didn't do a ton of hiking there. It's just flat and swampy, and my little town didn't really have much of any of that, so most of my time spent outdoors was spent on the water, fishing and whatnot. So, this is uncharted territory for me, <laughs> but so far so good. We shall see. Now, honestly, they're the worst when you stop. When you stop, they just like swarm you. It's crazy in there. And when you're walking, it's like I'm trying to concentrate on rocks and not breaking my ankles. So I'm also going like <sighs> constantly blowing up into my eyeballs and my eyes are closed. <laughs> so it's a safety thing. <laughs> so it allows me to be, pay more attention to the ground. Because... Oh, Clearly, I need to. All right, just got some random trail magic here in the parking lot. Has some vitamin waters and Ooh, that's them behind us. If you heard that, <laughs> and we found a swimming hole, so we are gonna go do that and eat some lunch. I am so excited. Oh, I twisted my ankle. Jesus Christ, get it together. What you doing? Putting my shoes on and walking through that. Ah. Uh -uh. Smart. Chuck's just gonna ford the river. He's gonna he's gonna go Oregon Trail style and cross it that way. Which is honestly probably the smart move. Okay. 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 <laughs> Is it super bad? It's cold. It's cold. Yeah. Oh, holy. Hey, Sue's Christo. <laughs> How did he get in this? Oh, yeah. oh wow no 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 this is it this is it no this is it dude you're braver than me holy moly i should have known that i wasn't going to be able to make it in that water when chuck only lasted maybe 10 seconds in that water that was yeah freezing i uh, made it to my to my shins yeah, it is what it is. You guys know I'm a weenie. I'm a cold water weenie. I can't handle it. <laughs> but in the brief moments I was in there, it was refreshing. <laughs> so we ate lunch there with coffee, bodacious, and be positive. And they just took off in front of us. It is 124. So we're going to be coming up on the hot part of the day. I don't have a signal to check the actual temperature, but it doesn't feel as bad in the days previous, but we've been under tree cover all day, so I'm sure out in the sun is a lot worse. So, but now I'm kind of full. Natalie sent us with all kinds of goodies, brownies and cookies, and I ate those and I'm full. Whew. They were good though. Really good. So Heather can tell you more about this. What? But look what we have here. Oh, no way! <gasps> yes! Okay, so... Alright, I didn't realize there was a whole subreddit dedicated to these. But our friend Luna, who is a local to Pennsylvania, told us about them. I've seen these on Reddit. 
and he called them like the schizophrenic notes but like there's a whole oh, i don't know if i have a signal there's oh, this what did he say sort of with an s it's the name of the, the uh, name of the it's county. the name of the county like the school school yeah Scope maybe county. yeah <clears throat> so i don't know anything about these notes really that people like they leave them behind and basically they're like, yeah they're like these nonsensical just word salad notes and nobody knows and nobody who's, knows who does this. who's leaving them and we didn't expect to find one but i know because we, we, we can't them. ever look up in this state because we're always looking at the rocks we found the schizophrenic note oh no have you heard about these no so he's he's filming just fyi yeah. okay. um yeah, come look at this. Yeah, it's just like somebody comes out and puts these nonsensical writings out and no one knows who does it. So, a secret sign, word symbol, unite secret society, NSA's bird, Augie, Audie, KKK, cross, target, CNN, Fox News, uh, CIA, Saturn, Lord of the Rings, SS agents. Like, it just, none of it makes sense. It's so like- So why is the stuff underlined? Like, I, nobody, so, knows. nobody knows. So would you say, okay, so what's underlined first? Bird, fire. Euro, crest, fire. star. Like there's whole, there's a whole, are you familiar with Reddit? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a whole subreddit dedicated to these. Oh, More to come. Like we'll try to figure this out. <laughs> is this just Pennsylvania or is it? Okay, so we've decided to push past our original intended spot and we're gonna go to the shelter so i think this is gonna make for 20 maybe 21 miles today not sure but we've got so much daylight and it's only five so we're gonna keep going and you see i'm back in my my face prison these flies and no seams are just horrific so I've been in this pretty much for the second half of the day. So can't wait to be in my tent <laughs> away from them. So apparently the only good tenting spot was by the privy. So no thank you. So we're turning around. <sighs> And because the shelter was 0 0.3 off trail. So, turning around and adding a little more mileage to our day. Unfortunately. Oh. I've made it to the tent where I'm safe from the bugs. They are so bad. Oh. At 7.30, Chuck's attempting to find a bear hang that's not dead. All the trees around here are dead. Oh, so we backtracked a little bit and we made it. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, and I'm hungry and I'm tired and I'm hot. So we're actually camping by a creek. So it was pretty nice to be able to dip our bandanas in it and kind of get some of the salt off of us. So I did that while the meals were cooking and Chuck is doing that now. He had actually built a fire just to get some smoke going and try to get some of these bugs out of here. So it's actually it's helping a good bit. So I think he's going to go rinse off. And then we're going to call it a night. Um, yeah, we did way more than we thought we were going to today. It ended up being a 21 mile day, 21 and something. So that's pretty cool to get some extra done. Um, but I'm tired. It was hot. 21 miles in a heat wave is no joke. <laughs> Ugh, and we're gonna, I think, sleep with the doors open on the tent tonight. It's just so hot here. It's so hot. But day 102, done. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.